Hello, uh, it's George with the NinjaBetic blog post. Um, it's Thursday night, but you're seeing this uh, Friday or sometime after Friday. Anyhow, um, I'm wearing my, my robe. This was a gift from my mother-in-law um, uh, for Christmas. And although the Snuggie is fantastic and oh my gosh, so awesome, it doesn't cover the back. Um, it kind of leaves that open kind of like a, like a like a gown at a hospital or something, which is fine when you're sitting on a couch, but um, I fortunately was not uh, like, did not end up like my father with the body of a Sasquatch. So I, I don't have hair all over my back. I get cold. So um, this is nice, very nice. Anyhow, um, what to talk about today? Well, um, I blogged this morning about my toe, my second toe on my right foot uh, had uh, what was like a discolored deal and it turns out looking at it a little closer that um, it's a, a like a blood blister probably from rubbing in my shoe or something like that I do uh, I am going to the doctor tomorrow just to get it checked out um, but I've been keeping an eye on it and it looks uh, it hasn't changed at all so uh, that's good um, but I, I kind of want to talk about that uh, and and just how we as people with diabetes have to react to things um, like our toes, a cut on our toe, or um, or uh, a vision change, or anything like that. Um, I, I mean, we can agree that diabetes sucks, you know. And um, but one of the things that really bothers me is how it. It, it changes everything. I mean, uh, if I get a cold, it seems to last longer than people that don't have diabetes uh, when they get a cold. When I cut myself, I have cuts that seem to last forever. Um, it takes forever for them to heal. And like my toe, I've got to freak out about uh, any little thing with my toe. I once had an infection in my eye from uh, just the contacts I was using. And I was terrified. I had no idea why my eye hurt so bad. And it scared me. Um, and I, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that, you know, when we were diagnosed, we were told of all these horrible things that diabetes could do and is destroying in our bodies. And so when my body, uh, you know, complains, you know, and has pain, whatever it does, um, it scares me. I freak out. I assume that diabetes has just destroyed a part of me. Um, and, and I guess I have good reason to because it very well could have. But it just, it sucks to live in that kind of fear, you know. Um, and any little, any, you know, I get a pain in my back and I'm sure I'm going to, you know, have kidney failure or something. I have no, I have no idea. I'm, I'm constantly worried. Um, does it mean that I don't live? No. But I don't know how else to react to stuff. I don't know how to just let stuff go without being scared because it's scary. I don't know. If, if you guys have a better way of dealing with stuff like this, let me know. I mean, some people are very just able to just not sweat stuff. I, I don't know. I don't know how you do that. I would love to know how to do that because um, it, scares the, it scares the hell out of me, to be honest with you. So, anyway. Um, oh, this is kind of a downer post. I don't like that. I mean, di diabetes sucks. I'm not going to lie. But but if it wasn't for diabetes, I would not have had the amazing week I had last week. Uh, or the week before last, I should say. Um, with the meetups and all that. I mean, if it wasn't for diabetes, I wouldn't have something to chew on. Right? Okay. I'll leave Barbie out of it. Until next week. Bye-bye.